Hey guys, welcome back. Chase here. Um, back by popular re request is I'm going to be making a video about um, how to set up AB for Chaos Mage. A lot of people have asked me, and I I mean, I'm, I did it a little bit in my Chaos Mage starter video, um, but obviously it gets more complicated as you level, um, and people still request it. So, I'm going to make the video now. Um, for this, now this is just a setup for Wraith Chaos training, um, and this, this does, this isn't life, or I'm going to make a, uh, chaos, or a life video on how to set up training with that, and its requirements and all that. This is the easiest way to level, um, so I found that you can level in the last expansion first map with 28k spell attack. Uh, which isn't a lot whatsoever. You get a 240 staff, subpar PD, and a decent mount, and you already have that 28k. Um, the staff alone is going to be 11 to 12k, depending on 240 to 250, so almost halfway there. <coughs> Excuse me, just from the staff. But um, this area right here is the FA area. It's called FA Flame Area, but it's actually the Easter area, so it's EA area. Uh, but it's always been known as the Flame Area because the first one was called Flame Area. This is basically a, an area for good XP. I'm leeching some and I'm getting 180 mil per kill here. Um, if I was alone, I'd be getting 450 mil, uh, if I remember correctly. I'm on 8-hour cards and this. I'll be on 4 times cards as soon as I'm done leeching. Uh, I'm planning on getting 300. Um, but uh, here we go. AB setup versus for Chaos Mage and Wraith Mage. Um, now you, now you watch my other video, you know what skills you need to pick up. You need to pick up Fabian Curse, you need to pick up Ghostly Swordsman, Dimension Shift, buffs, and all that. Um, AB setup's very, very simple. Uh, and I've tested around, and this is the fastest way for me to level personally. Um, and farm personally. There could be other, there's other versions of it, and I'll go over those after. But right now, this is the best for me. Um, Forbidden Curse, you put that in first, common, and final. Um... Now, alternatively, you can put, um, uh, no, you can't actually know what to set up. I was going to say you can put Venomous Breath in common, um, but that's if you put Swift Fist Song. I'll go over that after. Um, but basically, Forbidden Curse, first common, final. The reason that is is you want it that to cast on cooldown every time to regain your mana that you use from casting this and these skills right here. Um, and if it's on the first common and final, it's going to use it on cooldown. Um, same thing with it, and then you go down here to zero monster attacks. You do a zero monster attack, so it uses this on cooldown. This is the thing that teleports you around to different mobs and hits them. Uh, Dimension Shift has came out in Eternia. It's basically a Thunder Fury, which is the level 88, 80 Chaos AoE, and a Swiftness Song built in one. It does a Thunder Fury where you end up, where you land, basically. Um, and then over on the next thing, you got the you got your buffs. Um, Killer Intent for cast speed, Ghostly Tactics for agility. Um, not this isn't really needed. Quick step for agility, not really needed. Sanky support for spell attack, recovery shield for defenses, sage blessing for spell attack, spiritual spiritual focus uh, takes a lot of HP, increases spell attack, lightning seal. I, I have five, so it's better than the other one. Meta overflow, curt transfer, demonic counter, holy soul shield is um, what I call douchebag protection. It's basically protection against being death noted. Um, as long as you have a summon out. Um, put some of Death Note too, and you have a summon out. The summon will die, and this will proc, and you won't die. Um, but it's also good in case you're like you're lagging and you run out of mana, and you're just sitting there getting hit by things. It'll do the same thing. Um, Soul Crow, which this is one of the skills I forgot to buy. I, I don't play Chaos Mage very often. I hate it. I think it's very boring, so I didn't buy that because um, I forgot about it. But I I'm usually Wraith Earth, um, but Soul Corral, uh Icy Trap Five. This doesn't even even need to be on. I put this on for PvP, um, for Totem War, just because Polar Starburst exists, um, and it's ice damage. So I put that on for a little bit of defense against it. Doesn't do much, but every bit counts. Um, spiritual energy. Um, some people say if you put this on your AB, it, uh, you don't get the correct regen, um, which I've noticed you really don't. So the alternative is gonna be Cloudburst. Um, you still get the stats from it, but you don't get the passive regen you would normally get. Um, you need to manually use this to still get the passive regen, but I don't care about the regen because I have Forbidden Curse healing me. Um, so I put this on there. 
it's the critical it gives is better than cloud burst but once again with the bug it has a lot of people use cloud burst for leveling spiritual focus you manually add to use it and then you got the um the staff hit skills uh, which are all pretty important i mean this one right here um increase the spell attack obviously this one right here 30 physical defense which is amazing for leveling it helps you a lot so you don't get hit for as for as much um, this one right here increases a uh, chance to recover MP when your spells go off. This is very important. Um, this one gradually recovers MP. You don't really worry about the spell defense while leveling. Uh, but this one right here is very important because... So this can proc every time one of your spells hits. And the key part of that is you're using Frozen Traps. All that costs 150 or less mana. Uh, or 125 or less mana. And But it recovers... You'll see. It recovers 2k every time it hits. Basically every time. No, it's not 100% chance, but it recovers 2k. So you net more mana than you spend this way. Uh, this spell is uh, amazing. And uh, I've seen people level as a Chaos Life Maze would because of this spell and these. Um, now they haven't come out with Spell Boost 5 yet in the spam event. I'm pretty pissed. I didn't have enough to get Park Refraction 5. I wish I did. Um... But once again, spell defense percent is less important than defense percent, so I went with the Shock Absorber. Um, but yeah, spell boost is amazing with all these. Um, and then you have these on 100%. This is going to cast it on cooldown every time. Um, frozen Traps, the reason why these are here is it procs mana overflow. Mana overflow is a buff that um, does AoE damage. Um, increase your spell attack for a period of time as a chance of dealing AoE damage using the skill. The damage it does is insane. Um, as I showed in a previous video, every time the lightning struck um, was one of their things, and each time it struck, it does AoE damage to every every mob around it. So these proc meta overflow, so it's just, you're just min maxing, you're maximizing the proc chance of that to do more damage over a short time. And then obviously polar starburst, because um, once again, hardest hitting spell you have um, in in your spell book for leveling, large large area around you, um, and then MP potions. I do this when I AFK for the night. Because lag exists, and I found at times, sometimes I'll be, I'll get like, um, I'll get stuck. Like it'll, it'll, it'll say I'm right here, but in reality, lag, and I'm over actually over here. Um, and then when you start moving, it'll teleport you back to that point. Um, and then also times you'll have times where you miss your fifteen curse fifty three times, you won't recover any mana, and then you run out of mana, and they'll still be beating on you. Um, so I put this, I put that potions on 4%. I had 400 when I went to sleep last night. I used 8. So, uh, at 8 points, my mana went below 4%, which is basically a death sentence. Um, a possible death sentence. I, Forbidden Curse could hit with that 4% mana. But, um, but yeah. I do that just for safety net. Um, I don't like dying overnight, especially when I'm on FA tickets. They're expensive. It costs 1k AG for 12 hours. Um, so that's pretty expensive. Um, so yeah, I just do that for a safety net. Um, but that's the setup. I mean, there's other ways you can do it. You can do, if you don't have this, if you don't have Dimension Shift yet, you could put um, Swiftness Spell in there and change this to 1. And then you can st you still do all that. And then in first, you do Forbidden Curse. Common, you do Venomous Breath. Um, so let's turn this off real quick. real quick so if i were going to do the alternative setup i find this to be better and a lot more efficient if i were going to do the alternative setup this is what it would look like that's what it would look like here you basically first you'd use this and common you just spam this um and then final use this so it final it doesn't really go off the final very often sometimes you'll get a final cast but it doesn't really happen very often so you're basically relying on your regan to be on first only um so it'll be this will be the first spell you cast when whenever you start something new and it'll regain your mana and you hoping that it recovers the mana that you spent. Um, and then the third way to set this up is to where's forbidden curse? I think I can pass it. Forbidden curse. You do first common final there. And you venomous breath here, and then you leave all these the same. Um, now you don't get the teleport aspect, but this is a range spell, um, and so you get you get to hit the range spell with them. And it, and it has a high proc chance, and you can see the poison going off. But uh, I don't find this to be as efficient. Um, the way I had it set up, I find it to be more efficient. 
There we go. That's the way I have it set up. It's a lot better that way for me. But yeah, guys, that's the setup for AB. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any questions or comments, please comment below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more guides on Angels Online.